All right, what's up guys? Uh, so today, just kind of random aside, you guys see a lot of my dirt bike stuff. Um, forgive the mess, we're still kind of moving in. Got a messy garage with all the toys still getting organized. Uh, but I do dirt jump. I've uh, been dirt jumping since probably I was around 21, 22 years old. I'm 32 now, so my good buddy Andrew Taylor got me into riding in college. Kind of transitioned from playing around on the BMX bikes to the dirt jumpers and just kind of been uh, in love with dirt jumping ever since. So haven't done it a ton recently just because we don't have as many good trails running here as maybe back home in Santa Cruz. Uh, but in Boise, Idaho, there's a new place called Fort Boise that's opening up. Eagle Bike Park has some good jumps, but they get a little tattered up during the summer when everything's blown out. But my P3, I got a 2015 Specialized P3. And basically it was getting a little warm. So I uh, kind of went through and just revamped it, freshened it up a little bit. And uh, it's just always fun to have the bike looking new or fresh or just having it be all uh, cleaned up when you go out again. So I've had it the same for about three years. It's a 2015 Specialized P3. And it's uh, I think they came in one size that year, large. And what I've done recently is nothing major, but just little things. So uh, I went ahead and got um, basically some Deity grips and pedals. These are actually like polymer pedal with metal studs. Usually I run the all polymer pedals just cause I'm like super scared of ripping up my shins, but these will uh, provide some good grip and I can sand them down if I need to. Everything else on the bike uh, is pretty much stock. It's got an SDG uh, seat and then let's see, it had rental bars on it. But I took them off and put the, uh, the OEM specialized bars back on it. This was actually off of uh, the four cross. So don't know if it's what came on the P3 stock, but I think it's pretty much the same thing. Shimano brake setup. These were blown out, but I got them uh, kind of fixed up yesterday. Core North Bikes in Meridian, Idaho. Just put new brake pads in them. And uh, I work on my dirt bikes from time to time, maintenance and stuff. I know how to do all that on the moto. Uh, I don't like doing it, but I do know how to. On mountain bikes, I'm like pretty much kind of foreign with it. So I just bring it into the shop. He treated up the rear wheel, made sure it was all dialed. I need a new tire, but they're really hard to find in stock now because they're 26 inch wheels. Everything these days has the 27.5, like this setup. So I've got a small block on the front. Small block eight is my favorite tire to run. And this is the uh, 26 by 2.35, so pretty wide for the DJ bike. And then it's got the RockShox uh, fork on it that comes stock on the bike. Mine is, I don't know, it seems to be running fine. I run about like 150 pounds in the fork, the PSI, so that seems to be good. And then I've got actually, so I took off all the stickers and uh, there's a little bit of residue left, um, but I'll clean it down some more. And basically just used, uh, what is it? Denaturalized alcohol, something like that. You guys can look it up. And just kind of take off all the goop and sticker wear. Uh, but everything came off good. And then I realized I actually have like a fat dent on the main tube here which cracked the paint in one spot, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna put like some clear nail polish there. But that's really the only problem on the bike. Everything else runs good. Original cranks and chain ring, I think even the original chain and the brake line, seat posts, all that stuff. So the thing has been awesome. I've had a lot of dirt jumpers. Uh, I've had the P2 chromo, the P1. I've had uh, a 2013 P3 chassis. A Trek ticket. I had, let's see, what else have I had? Uh, Morpheus Hardtail DJ bike, um, and a few others just kind of randomly throughout the years. Um, and this is by far my favorite one. I've had it for, I said, almost three, almost four years now, and it's just been amazing. I'm not even close to sick of it. So, going to Woodward Tahoe maybe this Sunday through Tuesday. So, if you guys are out there, hit me up or if you can make it out there, come by and check it out. It'd be fun to go play indoors with the foam pit and the resi. 
haven't done that myself yet. So yeah, we'll go ahead, scope it out. In the meantime, I'm still waiting for my CR. It's almost done. Uh, you guys saw a sneak peek on Instagram. Uh, that thing is gonna be sick. And I would build it myself. I just am slammed between getting married, moving, and uh, business has just been booming in the real estate in Boise. So uh, if that wasn't the case, I probably would have built it myself, but I'm not nearly as good as Shane is anyways. So I'd rather have someone experienced doing it. Uh, but that thing should be coming back soon. I'll do in-depth overview of like everything. What I like about the bike, what I don't like, what we put on it, why, what the cause and effect is for each of those components, and uh, kind of the direction of what I plan to do with it too over the long haul. And then for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this little terror. This is the Piranha 190 four valve. This thing is like ridiculous. It's over 22 to 24 horse or something like that. And it's just a little ripper with a uh, little aluminum swing arm and uh, steel frame and crazy setup. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you ever get your hands on one of these, they're louder than a straight pipe flat track bike. <laughs> so, all right, well, hope you enjoyed that. If you guys ride dirt jumpers, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what kind you have and where you guys ride. And maybe I'll see you on the trails. All right, hit subscribe, like, share, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next videos. See ya.